My heritage is Jamaican, I'm raised in London, and the past 20 years I've spent a lot of time working with Japanese clients, brands, and galleries, and developing a third almost identity mixed in with my Jamaican and my British heritage. When I use those Japanese sensibilities and I marry them with the Jamaican attitude, there's this really beautiful hybrid between the strongest presence and the most beautiful elegance, all kind of married into one. Without the community, the sound system doesn't make sense. It's something that's really statuesque and really powerful and really dominant, but it's the people that come together that bring the sound system alive. Sound, music, frequency and vibration had so much impact and interaction on every aspect of, of my life. I like the aspect of having analog aesthetics and making those analog aesthetics relevant for a digital narrative. So it's taking the old and making it new and relevant. And so having a tangible digital narrative is really important for me. If we don't continue oral tradition and passing on stories, then certain parts of history will be lost. And I think it's really important as black people that we retain those aspects of our, our identity Otherwise, our histories will be erased by the environments that we're in, which we weren't originally from. As we engage in projects like Black Space with Nordstrom, it's about how can we tell a story as opposed to just selling a story. So the integrity and the nuance within the narrative is what remains. The product will be beautiful. That is just standard. That's where the style element comes in. But how can we then bring other communities in and allow them to engage and be part of the conversation and dialogue that we're having within Black Space. Camera speed. 